Good morning, everyone. It's actually Friday morning. I'm starting the vlog a little bit earlier than I normally do. But last night, Robbie and I did something that I wanted to show y'all. Today, we're having a baby shower for a guy at work, and he's a huge Star Wars fan. So, um, I am bringing Seven Layer Dip, but we're going to call it Seven Leia Dip. And I got all this from my cousin Tila. So Tila, if you watch these, I saw your baby shower um, and how it was Star Wars themed, and so we're using that. So anyway, um, and then we got the Tostito Scoops, and they'll be called Trooper Scoopers. And then, oh, they're right here. Hold on. These are a bunch of lightsabers that really were hard as heck. You wouldn't think that dipping pretzels would be so hard. It sucked. It really sucked. Well. So these are our lightsabers. Robbie actually did them um, because I got so frustrated with them because I just couldn't figure out how to do it. And of course, he was really good at it. So you know that's how it always goes. But anyway, good morning, everyone, and welcome to this weekend. been about 11 hours since I took that last clip. Of course I didn't vlog at work because that's not professional, but it was a blast. I think that mommy and daddy really loved everything that they got and so that's really, really good. It was a great day. It was a great party. So I'm really, 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 really excited for them and so happy for them that they're having such a beautiful little boy named Connor. So we are so excited for Connor to get here. We were even telling them like, you know, when you bring the baby up, make sure you tell us so we can put a hold on our calendar so we can all take turns passing the baby around because we are a baby-loving office. Poor Justin, the daddy, is the only boy in our full-time staff, so he's surrounded by a whole bunch of girls who love babies, which was good for him today. So, anyway, it was a really, really, really good party. Now, I gotta get to work. This house, this week, has been crazy. It has been something every single night and I just didn't have time to clean this house and so tonight is the night. For anybody who knows me, they know that I like to have my house ready for the week on Sundays and because I'm going to be gone this weekend and I'm not leaving until tomorrow, I'd like to stay until about 5 at my parents' house on Sunday and then I'm going to get home and be exhausted. So I've decided I'm going to deep clean this house today. I'm going to do laundry today. That way I'm ready to go and I can just come home and assume my normal routine besides the cleaning on Sunday. So I'm gonna eat really fast. I got Chipotle for dinner because I just don't even have time to cook. I've got so much to do. So I'm gonna eat my Chipotle and then I am definitely gonna clean this house and go to bed early because we have Bobcat Day in the morning which I've done before and it just means we have to be at the school at 8 a.m. like any normal day. Luckily we get off at 11.45 but still. Anyway, I completely forgot to mention, Robbie's not here this weekend. Yes, he left me again. Just kidding. He's doing Sausage Fest with my dad and all the boys from the family. So um, they shoot a deer every single year, sometimes two, and then they spend Sausage Fest weekend processing the deer meat and making it, not processing it, but making the deer meat into sausage. So I'm gonna have him vlog some. Robbie's gonna be vlogging. And then I will add that footage in here if I can get him to do it. So it's just me and Shati tonight. Shiner headed to the ranch with Robert, so I'm sure he's having a blast because it's lots of space to run. So we're just hoping and praying he doesn't run off. And if he does run off, hopefully he can find his way back. But uh, let's get to cleaning. that I just picked up off of our rug could make an entire new little Shotzi. 
we do our floors like once a week, sometimes twice a week, but Shiner, he sheds so much. But it's all clean now. Bathrooms have been cleaned. Floor has been vacuumed and swept. Kitchen has been cleaned. Laundry's in the washer. It's been a very productive evening. Now I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna order with a client. I'm super excited about that. And then also, I think I need to work out. Let me tell you, this girl, although she may be getting skinnier, she's still learning how to tone. So, bear with me. Meanwhile, somewhere I'm always going somewhere um, my mom just called and she was like Mallory do you know that mascara you always use and I've talked about it before on my favorite so I'll link that above but um, and I was like yeah I know and she's like I really need some of that and they only sell it at Ulta and there's not an Ulta in Victoria so I'm gonna run to Ulta real fast and then I'm gonna run to probably Walmart to get a book because I bought a book but I just really wasn't you know when you get those books and you start reading it and you're like I really don't want to continue to read this and I tried really hard y'all I read like 40 pages and it just wasn't catching my eye. So I'm gonna go get me a new book because lately I've been on this reading kick. But I feel like we should all be on a reading kick because reading is good for you. So here we go. Well, that was a bust. I drove all the way out here and they have every single color except for the green one, which is what my mom wants and which is what's my favorite because it's the one with the straight brush, not like the curvy one or the swirly one. So I'm like, do you have any more? And the lady's like, oh no, but we're getting truck right now. So it'll be out tomorrow morning. So I guess I'm gonna stop by on the way home from Bobcat Day, no big deal. Now I think I'm gonna head to Barnes & Noble, not Walmart, because Barnes & Noble would definitely have more of a variety of books, so. Okay, so I'm officially an idiot. I said Barnes & Noble. We don't even have a Barnes & Noble here at Texas. <sighs> Y'all, I'm just out of it. Anyway, uh, we don't even have a Barnes & Noble in San Marcos that I know of. That's something you would know about, and we don't have one. We have a half price books, which is good for you if you're trying to buy something that's cheap, which I'm cool with cheap books. I don't know if anybody else is cool with cheap books. I'm cool with cheap books. That's one of the one things that you can buy cheap. Like, it's not going to be super awful if you buy a book that's cheaper used. Most of the time, you're still going to get most of the story, or all the story. Like, you wouldn't want to buy, like, a cheap... What, what would you not want to buy that's cheap? vacuum cleaners you wouldn't want to buy a cheap vacuum cleaner the reason I say that is we're having issues with ours but you can buy cheap books so I'm gonna go inside and buy some cheap books okay I'm back again so this must be like the smallest half price books I've ever been to maybe the only one I've ever been to but I was looking at all the suggestions that I got from a Facebook post a couple weeks ago or about a week ago where I said that I was really loving a certain book that I was reading did anybody have any suggestions I looked for every single one of those books and none of them were here so I ended up getting a book called the summer of no regrets I'm a sucker for like teenage fiction even though I'm not really a teenager anymore like romancy stuff so it looks kind of like this you can tell it's going to be really cheesy, but that's what I like. Good morning and welcome to day two of this weekend vlog. I don't know what to do with this weather, y'all. I went to bed last night and it really was like in the 60s and now it's like cold again. And so when I wake up in the morning, I never know what I should put on. And so I guess it's going to be cold again. That's okay. It's actually supposed to rain for the next 16 days. And if you know me at all, you know that my favorite kind of weather is like rainy drizzly weather don't ask me why i'm usually a pretty happy person but i love that weather so this morning shotzi and i are doing our morning duties and then like i said today i have to go to work for bobcat days and then after that i have to run some errands and then finally i get to go home so i'm ready to get bobcat day over with so that i can get home and see my sister and mom so we can have our girls day hopefully everything runs smoothly I'm on my way to Starbucks now. If you follow me on Facebook, 
or are friends with me on Facebook, you know that I tried this new hack where I put a protein powder shake into an Americana and I'm addicted now. So I'm gonna go get one of those for the ride home and use it as my fueling. Then I'm gonna go grab my food from the house because it just got dropped off um, yesterday, and, but it got dropped off at the office and I wasn't there to pick it up. And so I'm gonna go pick that up, then I'm gonna grab Louise and then we're going home. The Starbucks are quicker for you. Hi, I need an iced grande um, blonde roast Americana in a venti cup, please. All right, what else? That's it. Twenty-three nineteen. Thank you. I'm gonna show you what I do. I already showed this on my Facebook, but, so I have an iced blonde roast grande Americana, and I'm going to take one protein shake. You can use any protein shake. I wouldn't really recommend using like a fruity flavor, like a strawberry. I'm using a mocha. Um, you can do it with chocolate, you can do it with vanilla, whatever you wanna, like season it with, and this can be with any protein powder. This does not have to be on our program. Okay, get my protein powder open. There we go. So I'm gonna pour it in, and you'll see in a second why I asked for it in a venti cup. So you'll see, it's at the top. I'm gonna close it up. Make sure the lid's on all the way for this next part. And then I'm just gonna Then I'm gonna shake it. And you'll see it's already starting to like make its way down to the bottom. Ah! Then you can kind of use your straw to like get down to the bottom, but it's super good. Shotzi's like cringing at the sound. Mm. It's so good, y'all. It's so good. So, that's my trick.